Okay, so we're out at Barlow's in an area that has no known workings, so the guys are doing what's called soil sampling. And they're digging down to what's known as the sea horizon, which is basically uh, just above the, the bedrock. And then they'll sieve a sample of that. We've just gone through a bit of calcrete by the looks of it. Is that right, Jack? It's quite solid, eh? Okay, we're getting down there. And when they get down there, which it looks like they're pretty close to, uh, in some places the sea horizon might be a metre deep, which can be quite a lot of effort. And so now what we've got is uh, Jack is uh, sieving away there and they stick it in and, and the mesh is incredibly fine what we're looking for. And we need what, a couple of hundred grams, is that yeah, right? Yeah, 200 grams we're going for, yep. So 200 grams and this stuff will be as uh, fine as uh, the finest flour you can imagine. Okay. Apparently after you've done this for a couple of hundred times in the day, you're a bit weary, eh, Mark? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so this is, a, this is minus 80 micron mesh, and you can see it's just unbelievable. So It's like trying to feed it through paper. Yeah. And as you can see, that's very fine to start with. And now you pick it up and shake hell out of it, and uh, oh, we'll get Jack over here Something doing really his... Awesome, doing his uh, interpretation of uh, some sort of dance move I'm not really sure what it is what is it an Irish reel or something similar <laughs> but you know and, and there's Mark doing uh, I don't know what that is what's that a foxtrot <laughs> I think I'd better be quiet because I'm about to get told but this is what you have to do because it has to go through that incredibly fine mesh and the powder that results from this goes away and gets analysed and we're not actually looking so much for gold, that'd be nice to find, but what we're looking for is all the other elements, so there's the trace elements that are often associated with gold and when we find some gold we see what the ones are around it and then we just keep going and hopefully we can say that element A, B and C are what is the indicators for gold out here then we don't have to look for gold, we look for A, B and C and we've got a much better chance. In this area, arsenic is one of the, the known associates, but whether that is here or not remains to be seen, we'll know in time. Often uh, bismuth, antimony and tungsten also. Tungsten, if it's in a form called shearlite, is lovely stuff because you can put a black light on it and it'll go blue at night. Now this is what Jack's just sieved out. And that is incredibly fine. Uh, minus 80, I don't know what that is in microns. Minus 80 microns. Yeah. They call it mining, it's minus so 80 So it's 80 microns. microns. Yeah. I don't know why they call it mines. And an 80, uh, 80 microns is 80 uh, millionths of a metre. So it's 80 thousandths of a millimetre. It's fine. Yeah, it's like flour. Yeah, it's very floury. So, so the and there's a, a sample envelope with a number on it. Each one has its own number. And what you do is, as you can see, Mark is putting it into a spoon, putting it into that. Uh, later on, we'll hit it with an XRF to get the elements on it, and uh, depending what we see, we'll decide what we're going to do. But they should all be analysed for um, gold as well. And that'll tell us what we need to look for. There you go. And you... What Jack's going to do is... He'll get the tablet out, and... Uh, He'll log into the tablet and everything because that's got the location and he'll do all the, um, what the lithology is and how deep it was and things like that so that the uh, senior geos can sit down and put it on a screen and maybe find some pattern. And after all that's done, you pack it all up and move on and go and do it again. And these, these particular line, that we're doing 25 metre spacing. 25 metre spacing, Mark said. Every 25 metre. And the lines are what, 25 metres apart or 50? Uh, uh, 100, 100. 100 metres apart. And the idea is it gives you a picture of what the soil profile is, at, as I said, at that sea horizon all the way through. 